Welcome to Tech Brothers. This video is dedicated to understand replication components in SQL Server 2016. This video also applies for other versions of SQL Server such as 2000R2, uh, 2012, and 2014. The word components here is not used in Microsoft uh, documentation. It is just my own word to make you understand different parts of replication. So let's talk about a little high level of these different components before we start creating uh, replication. If you understand these components, it'll be much easier for you to set up replication, to understand the technology behind the replication, what is it doing when you set up a replication. And if there are errors or uh, something goes wrong with replication, uh, this video will help you to understand uh, where you need to go and troubleshoot your replication. Let's talk about our first component. I call that as server components. So what are the servers involved when we set up replication? Our first server is Publisher. So the, this is the server or database instance where uh, your database resides and you wanted to distribute the objects or the data from that database to other servers. So who does that job? That is our option B right here in server components distributor. Distributor is the one that is responsible to get the data from the publisher and move that to your different uh, servers. So who receives the data is called subscriber uh, in our server components. So uh, distributor gets the data from the publisher and distribute it to your different server or different sub subscribers. So these are the three server components that's used in replication. And when we set up replication, you will hear hear me using these terms uh, quite fre uh, frequent. Uh, number two, um, what are the internal components of uh, replication? So there are, uh, whenever you create a, a replication, it depends what type of replication you're creating. Different agents uh, uh, basically gets created in order for replication to be successfully uh, working. So what are those agents? I have uh, another document that will go through that in a second. So. Uh, just to make you understand that what are the agents involved and again it depends on the type of replication number one is snapshot agent then distributed a distributor agent merge agent log reader agent queue reader agent so let's go on my uh, document that I have a, a little high level description of these components and once we're done then we will talk about our th third component SQL Server agent replication jobs Whenever you create replication, there are uh, jobs gets created on SQL Server agents, and we'll take a look what kind of jobs gets created on the SQL Server agents after we go through the internal component and agents. So let's talk about it. Our first agent is snapshot agent. It's typically used in all type of replication, no matter what kind of replication you set. First thing, uh, uh, it, it it happens in setting up the replication is snapshot replication and then the other replication take place uh, it collects information such as initial schema and data for all published object when you create uh, when you select different objects in the database uh, snapshot agent is the one that gets all the information and the data um, about your objects if if they are there are tables it's going to get the schemas of the tables and the data in the tables if you have store procedure is going to collect that uh, uh, schema of the store procedure. Number two, stores information in distribu uh, distribution database. Keep in mind that when we talk about storing information in, in distribution database, if you are using a separate distributor, separate SQL Server instance as a distributor, this uh, snapshot agent account needs to be, needs to have permission to write data to the distribution uh, database. So this is one of the tip. If your um, uh, snapshot agent gets create a snapshot gets created and it cannot write to the distribution uh, uh, database on the distributor separate uh, dist uh, SQL Server instance, then you will see that error that it cannot write to the distribution database. So this is where you need to look at that this uh, account that you're using who is creating the snapshot needs to have a write permission on the distribution database. And it also, where does it run? It runs on distributor. If the publisher can be used, uh, can also be distributed. Each publisher SQL Server instance can also be a distributor. But if you decide to go a separate SQL Server instance as your distributor, then uh, you need to look for, if you wanted to see the agent, it will run on your 
uh, distributor. So our second agent is a distributed agent. It is used only in transactional replication. So if you're creating replication type transactional uh, replication, then your um, agent that uh, uh, does most of your work is distributed agent. And it applies the initial snapshot to the subscriber and it moves transaction from distributor to subscriber. So it moves all the transaction that's marked um, for moving from publisher um, they are ready to be published to the subscriber. It moves those transactions from distributor to uh, a subscriber. Again, this agent, uh, if you set up the security, that this needs to have permission to read the data from the distributor and also uh, to write the data uh, on the subscriber as well. So it runs on, it depends that where this distributed agent runs. So if you are setting up your push replication, that means distributor, distributor is pushing the data to the subscriber. So it's uploading the data from subscriber to the, uh, I'm sorry, from the distributor to the uh, subscriber, then that's called push replication. So if that's the case, it runs on distributor. And if you um, want your subscriber to pull the data, to download the data from your uh, distributor, then the distributor agent runs on your subscriber. So I just wanted to make sure that you understand the concept of push replication and pull replication. Let's talk about the merge agent. This uh, agent gets created when we set up merge replication type. Um, it does work. Uh, it does work of snapshot and distributed agent collectively. So there is not a separate. If you just create the merge uh, replication you will not see the snapshot agent replication or distributed agent replication because the merge agent does the work that uh, snapshot and distributed agent needs to do. Uh, it's also responsible for synchronization of all changes to and from publisher and subscriber. Since it's a merge replication, any changes that happens on the subscriber side needs to go on the publisher and any changes that happens from the publisher side needs to go to the subscriber. Um, it follow upload and download process of synchronization. So again, as I said, that uh, push and pull um, uh, replication and uh, merge agent does follow exactly like distributed agent right here. The, where does it uh, run? It, uh, it runs on distributed for push replication and it runs on subscriber for pull replication. Our next agent is log reader agent. Uh, and log reader agent only gets created if you are setting up uh, the type of replication called transactional replication. So it moves transaction, again, uh, all the transaction that are ready um, from publisher to go to the subscriber. Uh, it moves those transactions from publisher to the distribution database. Keep in mind, there is a connection between uh, your publisher and distributor so any account that you're using for your um, transactional log replication make sure that it has proper permission on your uh, publisher and subscriber because it needs to move those transactions into the uh, distribution database and then uh, next the distribution uh, agent will pick up and distribute those uh, um, transactions to the different subscriber so each database uh, that you add in transactional log, uh, I'm sorry, transactional um, replication, it, it creates a separate log reader. So each database has a separate log reader agent. Our next agent is queue reader agent. So this is the special type of uh, uh, agent gets created, uh, unlike uh, uh, distributed and uh, merge replication, uh, replication agents. Uh, there is only one agent gets created per, per distribution. What it means is that uh, if you are if you have created a distribution publisher or subscriber, you enable the distribution on SQL Server instance. Um, your uh, the distributed uh, there is a database gets created with that called distribution. So if that's one database that's responsible for that instance to be able to do the replication, then only one queue reader agent gets created. It's not like uh, if you add each database uh, uh, into your uh, replication type and a different agent will take care of that. But in this case, it's a special type of uh, um, agent that is only one agent for all the services. So using uh, trend type replication, if it's created with the queued option. So you can create your transactional like uh, transactional type uh, replication 
And if you use with the queued option, there are two options when you use the queued option. One is immediate synchronization and other is queued uh, uh, synchronization. Immediate synchronization means that uh, your subscriber and your publisher needs to be connected all the time. They cannot be offline. But if you used with the queued option, uh, then updates will happen on the subscriber side. It moves, basically it moves the changes from subscriber to publisher. And this, this agent is responsible for that if you have created your uh, uh, TRAN type uh, replication with queued option. But um, um, if, if it's with queued option, um, publisher and subscriber don't have to be connected all the time. Whenever it'll be uh, updated on subscriber and keep updating the subscriber until the network is established, now the publisher is available to receive all those um, uh, changes that happen on the subscriber. So one time network connectivity, all the changes are gonna uh, push to the uh, uh, publisher. So as I said, only one agent gets created per distribution database. So this was the just a high level um, overview of different agents based on the different uh, type of replication that you create in SQL Server. Uh, let's go back to our uh, main screen right here. So the third component uh, in which is very important one and will help you to troubleshoot if there there is any issue with your replication. Let's say replication uh, you set up replication everything is working fine all of a sudden replication stopped and it's not replicating data so you have to troubleshoot your replication uh, so this third component if you understand where the jobs are and how to look in the jobs history you can also use uh, um, uh, replication monitor uh, for that but um, if you wanted to go in the detail sometimes replication monitor will not give you a whole lot of detail to troubleshoot the replication but if um, if you know what kind of jobs are created on SQL Server agents, you can go into the job and see when it ran, whether it ran successfully, if it was uh, failing, what was the cause that uh, that particular replication job was failing. So we, we have some common jobs called replication maintenance jobs. This is the cleanup jobs. These are the cleanup jobs if uh, you know uh, your replication is expired or uh, you have uh, set up a certain um, uh, historical data that that is, is you know if it's two days past that that shouldn't be um, replicated and all that kind of good stuff so that is all maintenance jobs it gets created uh, these maintenance jobs gets created on each SQL Server instance uh, up here create snapshot jobs so this if you're um, uh, the sna this is related to your uh, snapshot agent so wherever your snap snaps uh, snapshot uh, agent is this job will be created so if this job fails that means your snapshot hasn't created there, there's something wrong if first when you initialize uh, your replication it, the snapshot gets created no matter what type of replication it is the snapshot gets created so if the snapshot is not there um, this job probably have encount encountered uh, an error and you need to look into that that why um, this job failed and fix that so that your replication uh, gets fixed. Number two, distribution uh, jobs. Again, this uh, depends that uh, where this job is, that if you're using your distribution separate SQL Server instance, then you need to go to that SQL Server instance and look for that job in SQL Server agent. But uh, let me say that again. Um, if you don't, if you're not using distribution um, this distribution separate SQL Server instance, then your publisher has ability to be its own distributor. If that's the case, if just there are publisher and subscriber and not a separate SQL Server instance uh, as a distributor, then you these jobs will be created on your publisher side. So uh, the next job, log reader job, this is related to your, um, again, uh, log reader agent. And wherever the log reader agent is running, is going to create that job on that SQL Server instance. And this is log reader agent job only gets created if you have uh, set up replication type uh, uh, transactional log replication. And um, I, I just wanted to go through before we start setting up a replication in SQL Server 2016. Um, this is just a high level view. You can go to Microsoft website and 
um, probably get a more detailed um, um, information about all these agents and SQL Server jobs and you can look into this replication maintenance jobs but this is just a high level view this is how I would understand if I wanted to understand replication from the scratch and I hope it helps